to remember the answers <laughs> and say who is who is yeah. you know. That's how it's supposed to be. That works with a small group, yeah. Yeah, but this is kind of hard. So. This is a big group solution. That's why we just really yeah. all the kids. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so, so he, okay. So should I do the questions? Okay. So the first, and please write one and two so we know which answer is which. The first, the number one question is, what's, um, what is something funny slash silly you last did? Or in your childhood, sorry. Okay, anytime. Anytime. Anytime in your lifetime, think of something funny or silly. Funny or silly. Funny or silly. Funny or silly. Funny 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 silly.
Thank you. So now we all know. Okay, well, this person gave me two pieces together, so I think it must be. Okay, so one is I ate ants. Oh, oh and I was fine. That's fine. Fine is the color. This person has eight ants. Funny thing. Stop it, brother.
I went back to show her where the shoe department and whatever it was. And so I didn't say thigh high because I just wanted to be a girl. So the boom is really high. My friend, my friend lawyer, she was there doing something, I don't know what it was. And she came out I'm like, what do you think? <laughs> and they came in like this and the, the feather boa and all the glasses. And you know, she just laughed so long. I think she just sat on the floor and laughed so long. She, there was a set. <laughs> okay. Who said, okay, boomer, to a person? <laughs> you did. <laughs>
a, a sweet lady at our church gave me some green apples. You know, they were like this big, no kidding, like this big. She gave me a little sweet apple. <laughs> and you know, people think green apples are a little sour, right? But these were like super sweet. Um, and uh, she had, uh, I, I know the kind of lady she is, she waters it, you know, very regularly, almost religiously. Uh, she uh, fertilizes it and she takes care of it all year long. And it produces these big, luscious green apples, which are super sweet. And they were grown from uh, Vermont, uh, Belmont, I'm sorry, Belmont in her garden. And before I ate, I knew it was going to be really good in this house. I wish I could have brought some in. I don't care. Just so we can see. Um, I think our Thanksgiving is like that apple fruit. You know, we get Thanksgiving. It is a product of our rootedness in Jesus Christ, as this verse says. Therefore, as you receive Jesus Christ, Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him, rooted and built up in Him, established the faith. Just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. So according to this verse, uh, the fruit of thanksgiving is a product of you being, us being rooted in Jesus Christ. It's not just, you know, something happened, good happened to us this year, you know, we're just fortunate and we're just lucky and we are thankful inside. Actually, the beautiful fruits in our life are a result of our rootedness in Jesus Christ because he is the most beautiful Person. He is the Savior and our reward. Um, and I look at all of us, and we are all product of our faith in Jesus Christ. We are all beautiful because of His goodness. Uh, it's no fertilizer, it was no watering, it was the Spirit of God that rooted us deeply into Christ. And we can confess that we have so many beautiful, thankful fruit throughout the year, especially today, um, because of our rootedness in Jesus Christ. Um, I kind of wanted us to use this time to share one thing that you are really thankful for because of Jesus Christ, because of, of, of your roots in Christ. Not just something good that happened this year, but something you know is from Christ and it is based upon your faith and God has uh, gifted this to you. As I reflect back on my year, I thank um, some of you uh, uh, for you know, having Bible study with me. I wasn't able to have EM Bible study for the longest time because I'm always in there at 11.30 with the adult class. But I was able to meet with one-on-one, uh, -on -one, three on one and, and so forth for the past couple of months. And um, I really enjoyed the fellowship and have grown to love them as my brother and sister. And it was such a blessed time together. And I thank the Lord <coughs> that that fellowship happened because of our rootedness in Jesus Christ. Otherwise, we would have no reason to build this loving relationship. So I um, wanted to share that, that beautiful fruit that uh, was uh, a result of my relationship already. Um, we haven't really introduced one another, but how about we do this? Just go around and think about one thing that you want to share, your green apple, uh, that uh, God has given in your life because of Jesus. Uh, and uh, maybe you introduce yourself a little bit for uh, the people who are new here. And if you're new, you can uh, share a lot about yourself. <laughs> uh, and you can even ask me questions, uh, because we're really interested in getting to know you and to love one another as uh, Jesus has loved us. So, can I ask uh, myself here? Uh, yeah, here. <laughs> uh, hi, okay. my name is Kai Sao, and uh, I'm a of and I've been going to Cornerstone for <laughs> no, really. Yeah, November 2016, yes. And, uh, and, uh, uh, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> You're thankful for because of Christ. Oh, yeah. Um, so, um, I'm thankful because of Christ. I, I feel like I understand the love in that absolutely not put in practice, but you understand the power and uh, of the extent of the power of forgiveness in one's life because of Christ. So, yeah. Instead of just boring and just going around, you could just maybe pick one person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Uh, 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 yeah. 
Mr. Sumi. 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 Yeah. Good. I'm Sumi. Um, and I'm married to him. <laughs> We've been married for 26 years. And we have two kids. Um, one's in college, and the other one is a senior in high school. A girl. So, a boy and a girl. And um, I'm very thankful that we're getting to know you. And um, we've been here for about two months plus. So, thank you. Can you pick one person to tell us? My name is Kim Jo Han. Actually, I'm I'm not a member of your English class. I'm here because of my dearest friend Helen, who has been my friend for the last fifty years. Fifty. Fifty. I more than fifty. By zero. Five decades. Yeah. 
and realization for us to put our faith in something eternal, not mm -hmm. just a horrible place. Mm -hmm. James, we're so thankful for you for your beautiful voice and song. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, the voice that we Uh, I, I became Christian when I was in grad school, 
And late, probably the last four or five years, I feel like my spiritualist kind of kind of writing hold uh, because of family things and business things and all sorts of things that go on. So um, I'm really thankful this year, though. It seems in the last few months things are starting to change. Um, it seems like you know my spiritual life is being called back into action. Um, I actually very much appreciate um, the sermons that I've been hearing from Pastor Joseph for the last uh, few months. I've gotten more revelation out of these things than I've had in many, many years. From, uh, and, and I've been, you know, we've been attending church regularly at another church, but um, it's only lately it feels like um, I'm actually, the word's coming back to life. And so that I'm very thankful for. <laughs>
say I really want to send for my husband. He has more mm, patience, mm. give more love, <laughs> more hope, <laughs> more faith than before. I I can also feel his change. Mm. Send God. Send God. <coughs> okay, and uh, I I really want to be a Christian. Mm. Uh, maybe now it, it's not a real right time, but I really want to be. I hope one day I can uh, also have my own testimony. Mm -hmm. I can be baptized. Amen. <laughs>
I'm enjoying it tremendously. Um, um, but, and the other thing is, the more kind of recent through my move and stuff, I realize I'm really thankful to Christ because he's teaching me that he is sufficient and that he is enough. He's yeah. a song. And so, um, you know, and of course I'm always thankful for this church. I've been here like forever. <laughs> and, um, and I see a lot of people come and go, but um, but be thankful to those I've illustrated with for many years. But, you know, <laughs> old timer. And so, um, yeah, so thank you everyone. <laughs> Uh, I've been doing video work for church for the past six, seven years, right? Seven years ago. And I'm also in charge of uh, upscale, and that's I'm a visual re resolution specialist for the church that's been seen around the wall. Every year, but especially this year, 
And uh, just what I'm reminded of this verse in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, 11, it says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart. Read all the time. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart. Um, it says, God has made everything beautiful, and that he will make everything beautiful. There are some ugly situations in our lives right now, aren't there? You said you're not a war zone. We are, there are so many things that we are seeking God's help in. But this last part of this verse is really meaningful. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart. So God's perspective is not just 2019 or 2020. His perspective is eternity. And we know that Jesus Christ has resurrected. He's the victor. He has conquered death. <laughs> For God's sake, wow, He has conquered our arch enemy. And we know that we have victory in Jesus Christ. And that God says, He has made everything beautiful in His time. And so we put our trust even in those things that seem ugly to us right now. That um, there will be another day when we can truly say, God, you have been faithful to us and you will have been good to us all the time. And so based upon that faith, and that's based upon the things, the fruit that God has given each of us this year. We truly give thanks and glory to our God. Um, can we take a time of prayer at this time? Just expressing in our own lips from our hearts, just thanks to God. It's really about God. It's not really about us. It's really about giving Him the credit for everything that has happened. Good things that happened there in this life is really from our God. Who gives, who's the giver of good, good, good things. All good things come from Him. So uh, if we could take a you know, minute or two just expressing our thank you to them. And then we can close in the place. Mm -hmm. Beautiful Father, we thank you for all good things that come from you. We also thank, thank you for the thorns, thorn the flesh in our lives, knowing, trusting you, that you will make it even beautiful in your eternal kingdom time. Father God, help us always to give you the honor and credit that is due, Father God. It is nothing, not, no merit of ours. That um, no, we are not good in any way, but Father, you are good, and your Son Jesus is good, and therefore, we who trust in our Jesus, we are good through you. Father, as we, um, you've given us together as a church, and we want to cherish this love that you have given to one another, that uh, we would truly love each other, not just a religiously brother and sister term, but truly brother and sister as a kingdom of God. I pray that uh, you would mold us and um, shape us more into the son's, Jesus' Son's image, the Son of Jesus Christ, and for us to live this life together strong in faith, because you have given us each other as a brother and sister in Jesus. We thank you for tonight. We pray that you would protect our families and give us strength to live uh, this end of the year, trusting you that all good things uh, will come yes. from you, Jesus. We give you the honor and glory, Jesus, and we pray. Amen. Can we just sing one song to my brother? Do you want the chorus or do you want the back? <laughs> so oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.
name is Faisal, and uh, I'm part of the EM Young Adults. Yeah, you are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I want to thank you all uh, for joining us, and uh, it's lovely to have you all here. We really enjoyed an amazing dinner. And thank you all for the effort you put into making these delicious dishes. Um, <laughs> so uh, I just wanted us to like play a, um, a small game. Uh, that is hopefully going to be amusing to all of us and it's going to help us get into the mood of our little get together. So in front of you there is a piece of paper.